Hi, in this video we will talk about how to calculate the mean and then the confidence intervals and then plot them using ggplot. So let's get started and this is one of the simplest way I've found. We would be needing those two packages, dplot and ggplot2. So we'll get some data and I'm using the built-in data set called iris. So I'm just picking two columns from iris. Iris is a built-in database, so and I'm copying it into another data frame called data. So my data consists of 150 observations, and I have two columns. So using that, you can use the t-test, which will calculate everything for you in one go. So for example, I've just given the t-test. So t-test is telling us that uh, just ignore the other values, the p-value and the t-values, etc. We have the 95% confidence interval given by these two values and then I've got the mean and that's what we're interested in. We are only interested in these uh, three values. So I'm going to create another data frame quickly which will be grouping the data by species and then summarizing and I want to get three new columns um, in that. I want to calculate the mean. So mean is calculated by mean simple that length this is the base um, command or base r command and the low confidence interval would be the t test and i'm picking this value so if you if you go and look at the t test so t test gives you a lot of values so one way to check is uh, let me create another data frame called um, tt and you would see that i can set tt taller so you can refer different values in this. So for example, you can refer the, the p-value. You can refer the confidence interval. So confidence interval, and I want to pick the lower value, which is given by 1. And if I say the second value or the value 2, then this is... So I'm getting the first value, which is the low confidence interval. And in the in this second line, when I give two there, I get the second value, which is upper confidence interval. So that way you can refer um, different um, fields by giving the dollar sign and then finding out the, the position of that. So let's get uh, going in our uh, data, um, the summarized data. So mean is calculated. The low confidence interval is given by this command. And I'm using the 95% confidence interval. If you wanted to change it, you could change this value um, to something like 0.8 for 80% uh, or, or 0.85. And the upper confidence interval is given by the second line. So if I look at the DT, so we have the mean for each species, and then we have the low confidence interval and the upper confidence interval. So it's quite simple to get the get the low confidence and upper confidence intervals um, using the t-test. Otherwise, there's a complicated way as well where you have to calculate it manually. So ignoring that, let's plot our chart. So the first chart would be So let's run the chart before we talk about that. So this is the chart which we are going to get. So it's a simple bar chart, and then we have the confidence intervals given by the, you know, the low confidence and the upper confidence, and we have actually put the values up there also for clarity. And the way it works is, if I remove everything from there, I'm just getting a basic chart first of all. And with the basic chart, I want to add the confidence intervals. So the confidence interval is added by the command jom error bar. So just using the jom error bar and x values and the y values, um, x value is the same. So the y minimum would be the lower confidence interval and the y maximum or the y max would be the upper confidence interval. And then this is the width of the notch and then the color and the size, etc. So this gives us a basic plot, which has um, the notch and the upper confidence and lower confidence interval. Now, building it further, we would want to add 
the text as well so using the geom text and i'm saying that the label x x value is the species y value is the low confidence interval so i want to put the low confidence interval um, as a text so i'm rounding it and the size etc and v justification is the position of um, that in a vertical direction plot the upper um, confidence values with the text then i'm using the same command so the the y value is now uci the upper confidence interval again rounding it and then i'm using a v justification of minus one so this is what you're going to get so if i go and change something let's let's mess this around let's the, change the, the v justification value for the v just to one instead of minus one you would see that the position of that is um, not correct so that's why um, i've experimented and found that minus one work for me so you can keep on trying and then keep on pushing it up or down depending upon these v just values now simply a matter of um, putting some labels around and then a nice um, theme so i'm using the theme classic and putting the labels or the labs command saying title is uh, bar chart with 95 uh, percent confidence intervals and the labels for the x-axis and the y-axis i'm just changing them as well so if i run the whole plot together this is what i get so this is more or less the final chart which we wanted similarly i can also get a line chart so line chart would be um, slightly different so instead of the jom bar i'm using jom line and notice that group equals one let me take this out and rest of the commands are exactly the same so if, if you just happen to give jom line um, x equals species and y equals mean this is what's going to happen you're going to get this error saying jom path each group consists of only one observation um, to get rid of that is by putting a, a group and i've actually done a separate video on line chart if you wanted to view that as well so using the group equals one if i run the whole chart together now we have a, a basic line chart and the, the confidence intervals are also provided and lastly we can also do um, a dot plot So similarly, instead of using the jom line or jom bar, I'm using jom point. And jom point, you don't have to give group equals one. That's only when I was using the, the line chart. So, and rest of the commands are exactly the same. So here we go. We have a basic uh, dot plot or point chart with 95% confidence intervals. And lastly, if I just wanted to bring it up on the screen, as a single chart for you so i'm just using another package called patchwork and running patchwork i can simply combine my three charts together and this is what um, we got so uh, we have the 95 percent confidence intervals in a bar chart in a line chart and in a uh, dot plot i hope you found this information useful thank you very much for watching it and i'll see you in the next one